The headset in this box wants to make augmented reality relevant for us and consumers. This is the final consumer version of the Unreal Light, and as opposed to, for example, the HoloLens 2 from Microsoft, which is geared toward enterprise, this is truly made for us consumers. Now, after China and Korea, the device launches here in Germany, and this review unit was sent to me by Deutsche Telekom. In this video, I'm going to unbox it, I'm going to connect it to a phone and try it out for the first time, and I'm going to give you my impressions. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video, because all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about VR and finally AR. If you are also excited about all these immersive technologies and always want the latest hardware reviews, then absolutely stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And now let's unbox the Unreal Light Consumer Edition. This is the box that the Unreal Light comes in, very well designed here with that rainbow effect. And well, this is going to set you back 799 euros here in Germany. All right, let's have a look at it now. This is what you see when you open it and well, I really love hard cases. Whenever hardware manufacturers deliver these kind of hard cases together with their headsets, that's already a plus in my book and Unreal does it here. All right, let's check out what else is in the box. We'll find some paperwork here. That is the QR code to download the Nebula software that you will need. At the moment, you can only use it on one phone here in Germany, but more phones to come. Then we have a quick start guide here to show you how to start this. Again, you have to download the app and then everything else afterwards is pretty simple. We have a microfiber cloth here to clean the headset, also really nice. And now let's see what else is here in the box. So this here, on top you will see a clip that will make a VR headset out of your AR headset to not see the real reality anymore. Very interesting concept, I have to try that out. Then this here, these are glasses for all the glasses wearers. You can magnetically clip it to your Unreal and of course you need to insert your own lenses and you're good to go. Then we have four different sizes for these nose clips, I would call them. And for me, the green one is the one that fits. But now let's get to the main event. Let's check out the Unreal Light and here it is. So there's some extra protection on top of it so that the glasses don't come scratched. I do like this a lot. And now let's get to the Unreal Light here. So first of all, let's check out the cable and the cable length. It comes with a cable that's around 1.5 meters long. And at the end of this cable, there is a USB-C connector that will connect to your smartphone. And here it is. So now let's have a look at the glasses. So of course important the sensors. Here we have different kind of cameras and sensors here. One, two, three, and there's even a fourth sensor. And these sensors are responsible for the tracking of the device. Let's check out the other parts. So let's open this up. And first of all, let's check out the audio solutions. So as you can hear here and here, these are the loudspeakers where the sound comes out just like for the Quest and the Quest 2, something very similar. Then there's one more sensor in the middle of the headset. This is the proximity sensor and these are the micro OLED screens. 1080p resolution OLED and they look really nice. And I know that because I already have the developer edition of this, so this shouldn't be any difference. And now, as always, for every kind of unboxing of a headset, we need to get rid of the protective layer that is on top of the lens. And I know that you love to see that and I should not say something now. So let's get rid of this. Ah, we didn't really hear a lot. Let's see for the other one. And that's it for this unboxing. All right, this was the unboxing of the N Real Light Consumer Edition. And I must say, this does look good. These look just like normal sunglasses if it wasn't for this cable here. 
But if you would directly compare it with something like this here, this is the HoloLens 2 from Microsoft. Well, this here, I believe I can wear outside in public transportation, for example. Whereas for this one, well, I don't think <laughs> I would do that. All right. As always, for my unboxing of new headsets, I'm going to put this on now and I'm going to let you know about my first impressions. So first of all, this, this here, this is this kind of, um, I don't even know how to say it in English, the nose thingy. <laughs> I put the middle sized one here. This fits my nose very well. And then let me put this on. This is how it looks and um, yeah, it feels good. It feels as if I was wearing normal glasses, probably a bit heavier glasses, but uh, it's not like super heavy. Yeah, it's, it's nothing compared to a VR headset, for example. It's no comparison to a Quest or a Reverb G2. This is, this is like wearing normal glasses, and I believe you can tell that. I must wear this for a longer time, watch a whole movie, to give you my longer impressions or the review, right? I'm going to give you the review for sure, but these are my first impressions now, and yeah, it's, it's good. The comfort is good. And now I believe every one of you is waiting for the big moment where I try this here, where I connect this to my phone and, and tell you and let you know how well this actually works and especially how well the Nebula operating system works because that is something that I didn't see in my developer model. So let's simply do this. I'm going to connect this now to the only phone that it works on here in Germany. It's the Oppo Find X3. And later there should be more phones that work with this, but at this moment, this is the only phone. All right, I did already like wear this before because I, need, I had to find out how to record what I see. So it's not the very first time that I'm doing this, but at least you will be able to see what I see. So let me plug this in. Okay, and, aha, I see something right now. Great, and now let me start the recording. Okay, I've started the recording, but now let me look here because there you will only see my camera and here should be better. So let me start this and what I see right now, what you also see here now, this is Nebula. This is the operating system of the Unreal. So here you can see the app icons of the apps that are on my phone actually, of my Android app. So you see here, there's YouTube, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Chrome, all these things. And I can, I can choose, I can um, choose those icons with that laser beam that is coming out of my phone. So everything is being, yeah, controlled with my phone. And well, the laser beam that's coming out there, this, everything is um, tracked in three degrees of freedom. So not six degrees of freedom. So if I do something like this with the phone, this is not being recognized. But I believe this is good enough. And if there's drift with that laser beam, I can long press on that icon and then it will correct again. And I think that is all right. Yeah, if I want to add more of my apps, I can do so by clicking the plus button, but I'm going to do that later first. So now let's first check out how this works. So let me open, for example, here YouTube. I click on it and now I see uh, the, the YouTube app and I can position that in my room, in my studio here. And I'm going to position that here. And what I can also do, I can bring that closer to me or I can br bring that further away by using my thumb on my phone, on my phone here. So that is pretty interesting, I would say. So for example, let me bring it here, make it a bit bigger. And yeah, this is like now a huge screen floating in front of my eyes. And with this size, this is way bigger than my screens that I'm using here. This is cool. With this size, I have it completely in the field of view of these headsets. So if I would make it bigger like this, it would clip because then it's not in the field of view of this headset anymore. But like this, this is the field of view that I can see without a problem. And that is actually bigger than what I see with the HoloLens 2, but it cannot compare to a VR headset. But I think this is a great size already. 
this is this now fits into my uh, field of view here. And if I'm satisfied with the position, yep, then it's like this. And it's now I fixed it to the wall and yeah, it, it stays there. So here I can watch a video like this is this is my wife's channel. <laughs> and let me play something. That's me. So if you want to uh, see me speak Chinese, you can do that on my wife's channel. So let me also uh, make that bigger. And yeah, I can simply tell you now about the quality of this. Let me stop this. Okay, there's advertisement. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm going to make my wife rich now <laughs> by watching this. Um, let me stop that. So yeah, for the picture quality, I know it already because I've seen it before and I also had the developer version. It's great. It's super crisp. The picture is super crisp. The colors are great. This is OLED. OLED colors, great blacks, great vibrant colors. And I can imagine myself to watch a movie like this without any problems. Yeah, rather than to, to watch it here on my phone, I can like watch it on, on this um, virtual screen here. And that is really cool. For the volume, I would say it is okay. Like if I am in a room like here where there's no other kind of noises, yeah. But if, um, yeah, if I was like outside in the bus or so, I, this would not be loud enough. Yeah, then I would need to wear some headphones or so. And I'm going to try this out for you in another video. But like this, if you're alone, it's fine. But again, it's the volume is not like super loud. Yeah, so now if I click here on the home button again on my phone, then the nebula will come up again and I can add another window. For example, I can open Twitter and now I can position the Twitter window here next to that, for example. And I can also use Twitter. Okay, my battery is under 40% now. Yeah, this is also something I have to check out for for the actual review, like how long the battery will last. So I can simply use the Twitter with that laser beam here and with the with my touch screen. And yeah, Ben, hello, Ben. So yeah, and I can simply, I can use it. I can simply use it as if I would be using the Twitter app on my phone. Yeah, let me give you a heart here. Greetings to Ben from Road to VR. Yep, this works well. And now let me add another app. So again, I click on, on the home button on my phone here, Nebula. And how about I put um, like, uh, for example, Google Maps. You can put it here. Yeah, and then I can simply use Google Maps how I would do. Or let me put something else now. Let me put, um, let me put, for example, Chrome or above. Let's put it above here. This is VR Legion. This is a German website about VR. And now if I want to enter some text, I would use my phone. Yeah, so I use my phone now. Let's look for Road to VR again. And here it is. And let me click on it. Wait a moment. Oh, clicking also works like this. Okay, here it is. And here's Road to VR. So yeah, I could watch. I can watch my wife's, wife's video. I can, I can do some some scrolling here. Some. I can do some web scroll, uh, web surfing. And I can also do Twitter. And three apps is the maximum number of apps that I can see. So yeah, my first impression, this Nebula works really well. I'm going to check it out further for you, probably make another video about it. And here, okay, three is the maximum number of apps. And if I want to add more apps to this menu, I click on the plus here. And this is the recommended apps that work well, like photos, for example. And there's more, my apps on this phone here. And MR, mixed reality, as you can tell, there are no apps. So directly from the start, actually, there was only one app which was 
made for uh, for these glasses, which which is not um, an Android app or an app which works in 2D mode, which is Unreal Tower. But to try this out, I need to print out some some kind of picture first as a marker, and I'm going to try this out for the final review. But my first impression is, yep, you can beautifully use your Android apps. This works really fine. The picture quality is great. Um, yeah, the Nebula, Nebula operating system works fine, but th there don't seem to be so many apps made for this in particular. But well, this is going to be something that I'm going to check out for the, fu for the full review, but for my first impressions, that is pretty, pretty cool. All right, for my very first impressions of this Nebula operating system, I really like what I see and you saw it for yourself here right now. You can uh, check out all your apps. That really works really good, really good. So, yep, my first impressions are positive here. So, what can I say about availability here in Germany? Yes, 799 euros for this and it only works on this phone, the Oppo Find 3 X3. Pro, which is a high-end phone, which also costs like 1,000 euros. So this is right now for early adopters who want to get the latest, right? Later is going to work with more phones. This is only the first one, but it's going to work with more phones. Yeah, first impressions, picture quality is great. FOV is not as big as in VR headsets, but for AR, for the first generation of AR headsets, I think it's okay, right? Like you saw, um, the size of the, the picture of the, the biggest size of the video that I could put, it is big enough, it's like a big screen. However, if you then turn to the right or left, the big screen will go away, it will clip, and then you can see where you look at, right? If you want to see um, apps in big screen mode, that works fine. Also using it with your phone, it also works fine. Um, the laser beam, it will drift quite a bit. You, ha you have to readjust it, it's not perfect, but it's a workable solution with the phone. And I think it's cool that you can scroll just as you would do normally. That is cool. And also like um, entering text. I rather enter the text here on the phone rather than to have some virtual keyboard that doesn't really work well. This I can still use my normal input method with my thumb that I'm used to. Yeah, so overall, I have a positive impression of the of the Unreal Light consumer model. The only thing that's missing for me right now is more apps. So right from the start, there was one app that I couldn't even use. Actually, this Unreal Tower because I have to print out something and nobody told me what to print out. So <laughs> that is not really great. Uh, I hope there's going to be more and more apps. Um, for this, that really actually use the the capabilities of this as an as an AR headset, right? Right now, you can check out your Android apps in big mode and have some kind of multitasking, which works really well. But if you know any cool app that I should check out for the final review of the Unreal, please do let me know in the comment section. Also, what I want you to comment on, please, do you have any questions that I should answer for you for my actual review of the Unreal Lite? Please do leave your questions down in the comment sections. I'm going to answer them in the final review or even down in the comments already. Yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. So consumer augmented reality is here and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to give you more content about it and to give you the full review and all the apps and everything. I'm going to check it out for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, this unboxing and first impressions video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then do so now. And if you want more content from me behind the scenes and all this kind of good stuff, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at MRTVElite.com. That is my Patreon channel and that is how I finance this channel. So that would be amazing to see you there. I'm looking forward to do that. And that is everything that I got for this video. Make noise for the algorithm, leave a comment, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Thank you.